This video will provide information to help explain the benefit of using the AquaFlash handheld active fluorometer and briefly describe active fluorescence. There are three major pathways light travels after being absorbed by an algal cell. Light can be used in photosynthesis or expelled as fluorescence in heat. For this review, we'll primarily focus on photosynthesis and fluorescence, since active fluorescence is dependent on the amount of fluorescence produced when photosynthesis has stopped. This cartoon is a general description of active fluorescence. If light strikes a dead cell, the response is fluorescence. If light strikes a live cell, some of the light is fluoresced, while the rest is used for photosynthesis, depending on the physiology of that cell. A more detailed representation of this is described here, showing the photons absorbed by a cell in the natural state. Electrons are passed from the light absorption event to drive photosynthesis for plant growth. When we force the cells to stop the photosynthetic pathway, fluorescence increases. By ratioing the fluorescence output between natural and forced states of the cell, we can determine how efficient the cell was at photosynthesizing. Ratios greater than 0.5 generally indicate healthy cells. Ratios approaching zero indicate a stressed or dying cell. This ratio is referred to as yield. This data set shows yield values across various chlorophyll concentrations. The concentration were made by diluting a parent culture of Dunaliella. Although the concentration dropped to near minimum detection limits, the yield parameter is unchanged, telling us that AquaFlash provides reliable yield estimates, even at really low algal concentrations. In this data set, we see yield decrease as copper sulfate is slowly being added to a live culture. The lower yield values represent a dying or stressed algal population. The yield parameter can be used in this way to look at the onset of algal blooms, track toxins, research nutrient effects, or monitor aquaculture feed. AquaFlash also provides a good estimate for algal concentrations as micrograms per liter of chlorophyll. AquaFlash is sensitive down to 0.3 micrograms per liter of chlorophyll and can read up to a maximum of 100 microgram per liter. These limits were determined using fluorocentrum and tetrasomus cultures. Limits will vary with respect to species and physiology of algae, among other factors that, inf that influence in vivo fluorescence properties. 